Alright, we'll start by opening up a web browser and going to blend.io. If you don't already have an account, sign up, it's super easy. Once you log in, go to blend.io slash remix culture and find our culturator demo project. Click on poll to download all the files for this project. Once all the shiz has finished downloading to your computer, it'll be in your Dropbox slash apps slash blend folder. Et voila, we'll come back to this. If you don't already have it, you should download and install the free Osculator and also free Touch OSC Editor, which you'll find at the bottom of their website right here. And on your iPad, if you don't already have it, uh, you should buy and install the Touch OSC app from the App Store. It's only $4.99, but I have a feeling it'll be the best five bucks you'll spend today. Now we're going to go back to your Mac's Wi-Fi menu and click Create Network. You can call it whatever you like. I'm going to call it Culturator. And as you can see, the Wi-Fi icon has changed to show this is a local network, which means my iPad can now play footsie with my Mac. Now go to your Wi-Fi settings on your iPad. You should see the local network you just created under Devices. I'm going to tap on Culturator. What? Not connected to the internet? Ah! Anyway, uh, just tap Join anyway. Now back to your Mac, let's go back to the project folder and we're going to double click the file called culturator.ipad.touchosc. This should open up touchosc editor, hopefully you've installed it by now. Uh, and this is what you'll be jamming on, but you got to send this baby over to your iPad. So we're going to click sync. This message should show up. You want to leave this open until you've made sure the template made it over to your iPad. On your iPad, you want to launch touchosc and at the very top, under Connections, tap on the first row. Give it a second and you'll see your Mac's network pop up under Found Hosts. So I see OFD Mac Pro, that's my Mac, so I'm going to tap on that. When you tap on that host, all the numbers on the top should update to match your computer's local network. We're going to select the IP address showing up in the host field and copy it. Now we're going to go back and tap on the first thing that shows up under Layout. Then you want to tap Add on the top left, tap edit on the top right, tap plus on the top left, and paste the IP address in the host name slash IP address field. And now we're going to tap inside the row that shows the IP address. Bam! It instantly transferred the template from my Mac to my iPad. And I can now see at the top of my list over here, Culturator iPad. So you want to select Culturator iPad. Now we're back and under layout, it shows Culturator iPad and that's how it's got to be. So if we tap done on the top right, booyakasha. All right, let's leave the iPad for a moment. Go back to your Mac. We're going to stop sync on touch OSC editor and now you can quit touch OSC editor. You're not going to need that anymore. Back to our project folder. Let's double click Culturator Osculator should see something like this. It's a bunch of very important garbage. It helps translate all the fanciness you'll be doing on your iPad into something that Ableton can transform into sweet lovemaking music. No, but seriously, this file should always be open if you want the culturator to work at all. It should show running on the bottom with a green light and on the top left, it should show pause. For some reason, it doesn't. Maybe it'll show start. You just gotta click start. Give it a moment. It'll say some nonsense about a Wiimote on the bottom. You can ignore that. Just give it a minute. It'll eventually go back to running. Okay, now it's running. All right, back to the folder and double click the Ableton session file called Culturator Demo. Are we done yet? Almost, almost. Check your MIDI settings. Make sure that input and output for Osculator have track on and remote on. Now back to your iPad. So we had this template loaded up but we've since added Osculator to the mix and Ableton is pissed at your iPad and refuses to talk directly with it. So the only way your iPad is gonna get some love from Ableton is if it passes notes under the table via Osculator. So tap the top right corner to get back. Again, we're gonna tap on the row right underneath connections and now we see two hosts. You wanna tap on the one that says Osculator. Now your iPad can talk to Ableton. So go back, click done, and now everything should work. Whenever I start performing with any MIDI controller, I always reset all the controls because they can sometimes get confused when they're woken up. So I'm gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right, left, up, down. 
and repeat this for all four of these modules. Now you can just jam until all the donkeys come home. And when you feel ready to record a live performance, just make sure to press record in Ableton and make sure the yellow thingy next to the record button is turned on, otherwise it won't record your automation. All of the loop triggering, volume, and effect processing you did live on your iPad will be recorded here in the Arrange window. So you can select an area in the Arrange window that you're happy with, and now you're ready to publish it. So you want to save Live Set as, call it anything you want, like My Culturator is Better Than Yours. Then you want to collect all and save. And now with your performance selected here in the timeline, you want to export an audio file so people can listen to it on Blend. You have to choose WAVE as your file type and 44.1 sample rate, 16-bit. And when you export it, you have to use the name Preview and you have to save it in the same folder as the project you're about to publish. Otherwise, Blend won't recognize it as a preview file. And now to publish it to Blend, just drag that project folder to your Dropbox Apps Blend folder. And finally, go to your Blend account, click My Projects, and there it is. My Culturator is better than yours. You can put a little description. The important thing is that you use the word culturator as a tag. That'll help us find your project and we can pull your project and run it through our VJ app so we can render the video of your culturator performance. Make sure to make it public so everyone can see it and click publish. All right, that's it for today. I hope you'll have a lot of fun putting your own creative stamp on our loops with the culturator. And for those of you who want to kick it up a notch, and make your own loops and play with them on the Culturator. Well, we've got another blend project and tutorial series coming very soon that will provide you with our own video stems and will teach you exactly how to make remix loops out of those video stems. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Blend, and follow us on Facebook and we'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching, we can't wait to see what you come up with. Till next time! <laughs>